Hey, what's going on, Facebook, YouTube? Thank you for watching Thompson TV. This is about meditation. What is it and how to do it? All right, meditation is pretty straightforward. I'm sure through your lifetime, you've seen meditation videos. And if I got a good, cool video, I'm gonna post it up right now on this clip right here so you guys can watch it some days meditation will feel easy on others it might feel difficult the trick is to gently stay with it each time no matter how it feels look for a place in your routine where this exercise can slot in easily research shows it's easier to create a new habit when we do it at about the same time each day we recommend doing it first thing in the morning but you might need to be flexible with that. Find somewhere you won't be disturbed. Don't worry too much about background noise. I'll explain how to deal with that. But it might be easier at first if you have some peace and quiet. Make sure you're sitting comfortably before you start. Unless you're used to sitting cross-legged on the floor, I'd recommend using a chair. Sit with your legs and arms uncrossed, feet flat on the floor, and hands resting in your lap or on your legs. Try to keep your back straight, but not too tense. If you need it, a small cushion or a rolled up towel under your backside will help keep your back straight. And that's it. You're now ready to get some headspace. Well, through lifetime, I'm sure you've seen a lot of meditation routines done on TV or possibly in person at a, at a YMCA Probably somebody came to your school back in the day and they was telling you about the benefits. But when it comes down to it, when we grow up, we always see it as something pseudo, something kind of taboo. And we never really get there or get into it at all because we feel like we just don't have the time to invest in something that I'm not 100% that it's going to work for me. Now, we all know, I don't have to go through it, we all know that there's scientific proof showing that meditation is fantastic for your mind. Actually, I got a list. I'm going to go through the list right here. The benefits of meditation. This is just some of them. It lowers your blood pressure. It improves your blood circulation. It lowers your heart rate. It lets you, it helps you sweat less. Uh... It slows your respiratory rate, uh, less anxiety, lower blood cholesterol levels, uh, a better feeling, more well-being, and less stress, less anxiety, of course, and deeper relaxation. Who doesn't want some of that? Deeper relaxation, less stress in your life, like everything stressed out, right? You always you always get some level of stress when you do anything or another person comes around. I don't care who you are. That's just how we are as human beings at this moment in our evolution, unfortunately. But meditation can really change your life. Most fighters come into meditation like myself. I was doing mixed martial arts and I just knew I had to have some kind of an edge if I was going to be competing. So I was like, you know what, I want to have laser, laser focus when I step in the ring so I can be able to do exactly what I want to do without freaking out and getting nervous because the lights or the opponent that's trying to smash my head, right? So I started to meditate. And it did a lot of good things for me. It took away a lot of anxiety. It took away a lot of thoughts that was just unnecessary. Like There was a lot of things that I used to think about that uh, after meditating for a while, I was like, that's not even, it just went away. Like, I, I didn't really care about what people were thinking about me. And it, it didn't even cross my mind at certain points. Um, the IQ just naturally goes up because you're, you're not constantly stressed out. 
and the brain is not constantly in a state of anxiety so you can actually get your thoughts out when you're in active meditation and you can sleep a lot better and if you know anything about sleep you sleep you have more rest physically mentally and your enjoyment of life is going to be tenfolds better so that equals your life being tenfold better because you're going to perform a lot better so everything is going to happen you're going to be a lot more successful in your life and now there is a spiritual aspect of it now I'm not talking about your Quran I'm not talking about your Bible I'm not talking about your your what is it, the Dead Sea Scrolls, whatever else is out there in some kind of form of a piece of paper or a tablet or whatever. No holy stuff. I'm just saying some real deal inner work that just helps you out in your overall, overall well-being. Meditation will help you be grounded, like mentally, for a lot of things that other people cannot deal with. Like, uh, we have unfortunately a lot of unstable human beings in this world and people truly feel like because they can get up and go to work and wipe their butt and they can eat their food and they can go to sleep and they can take care of their kids that they are stable and this is just not the truth <laughs> like by far <laughs> like it's just the norm so everybody cruises along thinking that you know it's all dandy but uh, meditation improves that. It improves your insight of self. Like meditation gives you the second between the emotion and the brain, the body triggering the emotion and that motion converting into a thought and then into a reaction. Like usually it's just like Somebody steps on your toe, you're like, what the heck? Like, you're on them. It's just a response. It's not even, you don't even get to think. There is no thought involved. That's a body, emotion, chain reaction. There is no you involved. And meditation actually puts you back in control. Okay, enough of what meditation is and what it could do for you. Simply, how do I do meditation? It is simple. There's a whole bunch of different ways to meditate. Basically, if you can close your eyes without falling to sleep, having your spine straight up as possible, you're going to be in a meditative state. Now there's different types of meditation which you should ex explore by yourself so you can figure out which is more comfortable and what works for you. There's guided meditation that is not actually, um, it's more of a mental meditation. You don't really get so much of a spiritual benefit from it. But a guided meditation is basically like a hypnosis sort of deal like somebody will speak and they'll put you into a meditative state and now there is chanting chanting is extremely popular and it is extremely useful on a lot of levels it balances people mentally and emotionally very quickly some people like to chant om people say om but it's is om because at the end of om you get om and just because they just hear the om they think it's om <laughs> but it's om and that will change your life you do that for three months chanting om or even just om that will change your life and you will physically mentally emotionally see a difference in you i know it sounds crazy but this is true it worked for me it's not just something i'm telling you out of a book or from the internet um and then there's mindfulness this is probably the most popular 
meditation that is uh, around right now. Mindfulness is uh, is fairly simple to explain. <laughs> meditation all around, you're gonna have your falls, but you just keep on doing it. Mindfulness is where you sit with your eyes closed and you just pay attention. Now, a lot of people fall asleep because what you're paying attention to is your thoughts and they're gonna come pouring in like a stream of water and you ain't gonna be able to stop. And people mess up because they think that, oh, I'm not meditating, I can't stop myself from thinking. If you stop yourself from thinking, the only way that happens is if you're dead. <laughs> or if you're a, a master yogi. And um, hopefully you don't see any of those until the time's right, right? So, don't worry about the thoughts. You're actually using anything that pops in your mind. Images, thoughts, feelings. And you just want to watch them. You don't want to be sucked into them. Because that will change your life in the waking, uh, in your waking life. So if you can just observe things for what they really are, instead of say, oh, this is this. Like, so if I'm thinking, if I close my eyes and I'm meditating, and I start thinking, oh, I gotta go to the gym tomorrow. I think I'm gonna be doing chess. And, oh shit, I gotta ask my wife what is going on. Then you just get drifted away into this thought and it's just gonna keep on rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. So you just say, oops, I'm thinking. Let me stop and just clear my mind. And you're gonna start again, some more thoughts, and you just stop. Okay, that's a thought, stop. Focus your mind. And you keep on refocusing your mind over and over it's just training your brain you can see it but you don't have to be taken control over your attention span doesn't have to be like a dog when you see something oh oh, oh. no nah, like you see it oh cool bam we're right, right back here and of course the main thing that's going to give you a struggle in mindfulness meditation is how to say it right? Hypno hypnagogic images. That's the pre-images of dreaming. Like you'll see crazy images just run by the front of your uh, your face and pictures and dreams starting to emerge while your eyes are closed. So you got to recognize, oh, that's a dream. Stop it. Oh, that's the thought. Stop it. And even if they don't stop, you have to be very focused on, okay, this is what this is. This is what this is. Don't analyze. And if you somehow come across an amazing idea that you can only get because your mind's so clear meditation, trash it. You know why? Because you're thinking with the same mind, there is no new idea with the same mind, right? And it's not that important because the mind will trick you because it has trained itself. It has conditioned you to allow me to take control. And once it feels that it doesn't have control over you and the body, it's going to start throwing things at you. Oh, look at this thought. This is really important. <laughs> like, you really want to pay attention to this. And it's, it's nothing. It's just a normal thought. And so just kick it to the side. You got to feel like there's nothing more important than that one moment. There's nothing outside of your eyelids. Realities does not exist outside of your own mind when you're meditating and if you can achieve that the meditation will be extremely easy for you but that's not 
your initial goal. Just close your eyes. You will fall asleep. It's okay. You made progress. Close your eyes. You will drift off into a thought. You will drift off into a dream. You will stand up saying this is not working. And you will go through a month and be like, I don't see any progress. But you're making progress and other people will see it. So, if you like this video, if you made it to the end, I appreciate it. <laughs> so, if you did, a round of claps for you. <laughs> and thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you on my next one. Peace.